All right, what is up boys? So we are on our way to work. I'm not hitting the gym today just because like the doms have somehow gotten worse. <laughs> I'm so freaking sore from those dips, um, which is a great thing. That means it's like, it was like perfect intensity. So I follow Mike Mentz's philosophy in terms of like the rest and recovery. It's essentially his training philosophy where it's like you want intensity over volume. But you don't want to be training when you're sore, obviously. He says you got to prioritize recovery. You need to be like 100% if you want to keep training that way without being injured. So, obviously, I'm not trying to get injured. Um, I'm just coming out of a shoulder injury, as you guys know. So, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> that frees up some time today to, yeah, just keep working on the business, I guess. I'm not too sure if I should get a fresh trim for some of my videos coming up it would be good but i don't know if i need to I, I think it looks all right the only reason i care about that is because obviously female gaze mastery is about glowing up and like the look smacking thing so if i don't really look the part are people really going to listen to me there's i think it's called physiognomy or whatever the hell where it's you have to look the part it's like you wouldn't really trust a overweight doctor or you wouldn't trust like a personal trainer who's not even in shape would you so same thing would people trust a glow up looks maxing coach who doesn't even look that good right <laughs> so I'm, I'm just like debating whether i should should or not i could go another week without it i think but i want to look sharp for these videos so i need to be a bit more decisive <laughs> so yeah i'll get back to you guys in a bit the video that i posted that i was like building up to hype for i was like so excited to get it out Basically, it kind of flopped. Unfortunately, it flopped. So it's only at 240 views and it was posted about four days ago. So unfortunately, it didn't work out as I wanted it to, but the feedback's been real good on the video. So I think maybe the title just sucked. It wasn't really like that clickable. It's not really a brand new topic or anything. So I'm gonna learn from it. The thumbnail fired. The production I think was really good. Obviously, there's still going to be room for improvements with the production. I still want to improve so I can get to the top level. But um, at the moment, I'm very, very happy with this thumbnail editor. So I think we've already got top level thumbnails. So that's freaking awesome. But the title. So it's I've learned that the title is also extremely important. Because I used to think, okay, maybe it's just if I got the best thumbnails, it doesn't really matter too much about the title. But clearly it does. So for the next uploads, I'm gonna make sure I've got the fire thumbnail. Production's obviously gonna keep getting better each time, which is great. Just the more I do it, the more, you know, obviously better it gets. And then title, I'm usually pretty decent at titles. I'm not gonna say I'm the best, but some of my titles are pretty freaking good. Like for example, I had this one video, my, one of my best performing videos, the title was Carrots Cured My Acne, and then in brackets, you need to watch this. Obviously that's way more click, that's way more clickable because people go, what the hell? How do carrots cure your acne, bro? And especially people who actually don't like skincare routine or who have tried different things, um, investing money into skincare products. And here I am saying that freaking carrots cured my skin. They're like, what the hell? So obviously that one did pretty well. The thumbnail was okay. I mean, I did the thumbnail myself. It's probably one of my best thumbnails I ever did. So yeah, learning curve basically is what I'm trying to say. And today, right now, I'm actually in a drafting mood, if that makes any sense. So I'm actually in the mood. I'm actually motivated right now to like write up some drafts, make some banging scripts and all that stuff. So I'm pretty much finishing off that script for the top three outfit video. Um, I want to see if I can also get the hairstyle script done for like how, how to style messy hair or whatever. And yeah, so basically my editor is like unavailable for the next three weeks. So I gotta really like lock in and focus and try to edit to the best of my abilities. I, sh I should be fine. The, the only reason why I got an editor is because my laptop is so ancient that it takes like 10 minutes to boot up properly if it's been like turned off. And then when it comes to editing, like it's so slow, like to do a cut and then like delete like a little portion of a video and then, uh, you know, make sure that all the clips on the other side, like move up to where the timeline is now. Sometimes, well, a lot of the time, especially with like really edited videos, it just crashes or it just dies. So that's why it's been really, really helpful to have an editor. I might, might ask one of my friends if they want to, you know, make some easy money and edit this, edit the videos for me. 
or I could go on Fiverr. We'll see what happens, man. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to get drafting, try to finish these drafts today. And I'll probably do most of the filming on the weekend just because I want to look pretty fresh for the videos. And it's, it's Thursday today, tomorrow's Friday. Like I'm tired. It's the end of the week. I don't want to look tired on camera. Uh, I want to look good. I want to look sharp. And also for the hairstyle video, I'm just, I've, I'm not going to post that this weekend. So maybe I'll only film that one next sometime next weekend. I'll get my hair cut and just make it look fire. Cause obviously for a hairstyle video, I want my hair to look fresh. And right now I'm getting closer and closer to a much needed haircut. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's get going. Alrighty, so the script is basically done. There'll be a few little tweaks here and there, but for the most part, it's like 90% complete. I went at it with this one. This one's gonna be fire. I've actually done like a little sales pitch towards the end. Instead of just having it like a CTA, I'm gonna see what it looks like with an actual like sales pitch. I'll run it through with you real quick. I think it's kind of interesting. So obviously I'm a bit of an amateur at sales. I don't have that much experience with it, but I understand like you got to take your client from a place of pain to a place of pleasure because people are always moving from pain to pleasure. So basically throughout this video, I give the story of like wearing this. So this is the outfit video, right? So I give a story. I do some storytelling because it keeps engagement up. When I was wearing this, like the first outfit on this thing, and then I was like walking through Thailand, basically through like the airport, and I caught this girl staring at me with like starred eyes, like blushing and all that. And I, I was like, locked eyes with her, and I kept walking. And then I was basically bored at the airport because my flight wasn't gonna be until like another few hours. So I'm like, you know, what? I want to see if she's gonna be staring at me again. So I walk past through through the same store. And I, f I feel a gaze staring at me from the other side because obviously I'm going through the opposite way now. I look over, I see her again. Basically, I'm just trying to put in the viewer's mind that if they wear these outfits, they're going to get like, they're going to catch girls staring at them basically because these are fire outfits. And why, why am I, why do I want my viewer to have like female validation, all that sort of stuff? That's what it sounds like I'm saying right now on camera. I understand that I'm aware of why people think like female validation is what my business is about. It's kind of the case, but in the reality if you're unattractive to girls you're never going to get your foot in the door and get on a first date with them they're always going to reject you if you're ugly no matter how good your game is so that's what i do i help guys just to get their foot in the door to be attractive so attractive to the point that girls are just going to stare at them right so i'm putting that in the mind of my viewer and then when i get towards the end of this video they're basically going to be hit with this and this is something i haven't done before so in the last video what I did was the CTA, which was basically, if you would like to learn more about glowing up, then DM me the word attract over on Instagram at female gaze mastery, and I will see you over there. But this time, I think this is an improvement. So I'm trying to improve each video as I do it. So this time it goes, if you would like to learn more about glowing up, so girls stop constantly rejecting you, then DM me the word attract over on Instagram at female gaze mastery. So what I'm focusing on with this line, this CTA is that, so that girls stop constantly rejecting you. That's a negative. I, I had it as like a positive one so that you can attract more beautiful girls. I'm gonna try a negative one because people respond more to negative things because people obviously wanna avoid discomfort. They wanna move from pain to pleasure. So I'm gonna try that. And then also I got thinking, I'm like, what if I just tell them what they're gonna expect, right? That makes sense. So I'm, I'm gonna say, obviously this is all if it looks good, like towards the end of, the, at the end of the video, if it looks good. Then I'm gonna keep this in the final cut. So I'm gonna say, I'll help you pick the best hairstyle for your specific face shape. I'll help you get a sexy physique. I'll help you have the best style out of all the guys in your local area. I'll help you to achieve clear, radiant skin. I'll help you to choose a cologne that's so fire that girls will literally sniff you and much, much more. Why listen to me? Well, here's my transformation and then i'll show like what i used to look like when i was always getting rejected versus basically me now where rejection is extremely rare and i'm literally only approaching girls if i find them to be like the most beautiful girl i've ever seen basically that's where the that's where my standard is at now so if i do get, get rejected it's still rare um the only girl that's rejected me recently has actually flipped it now she's interested in me so 
she's I, I don't really know what's going on with this girl because she, she rejected me and then the very next thing she said what's your name oh my name is so-and-so so i don't know if she's just she just was caught off guard or whatever but yeah we'll see what happens with her man but uh anyway so yeah that's my uh transformation whatever um so that's why they should listen to me is that transformation i'll show them results and then I say, I know from real experience what it's like to be constantly rejected by girls. So this is them. I'm amplifying the pain points here so they can relate to me. And then I'm going to say the examples of, ew, creep, uh, no. Sound familiar, bro? I want you to experience what it's like to have a beautiful girl that's head over heels crazy about you. You don't want to miss this opportunity. I'll see you over there. So that's basically like my sale uh, script towards the end there. Um, I think it's pretty fire. I don't know. Those of you guys that do sales, uh, let me know what you think about that. I think it's pretty good. Obviously, it's not perfect. I might switch it up because this is not the, the final draft, obviously. It might not flow well with the video. It might just be an abrupt sales pitch and people go, what the hell is this? Click off. So I don't know if I'm going to include this, but that's just basically what I have right now. So you got to take advantage of when you have actual motivation to work on your business, like especially when your business isn't bringing in the money that you know it could be making for you. It's very hard to stay motivated. That's why you gotta stay disciplined, right? It's easy to say that, but I just wanna say like, when you actually feel that motivation, like it's a Thursday, bro, I'm tired. It's towards the end of the work week. I randomly have motivation to work my business. Freaking maximize that, bro. Don't don't waste this motivation because most of the time you're not gonna be motivated to work. Most of the time I'm not motivated to do this, but I just push myself to do it because I know like the potential of this business where I, could very well be next year is i'll be living in thailand it's entirely possible and i believe that's going to happen um because i'm working on this every day i see the vision i see the future i see the potential so when you have so most of the time like you're just going to be tired most of the time you guys know if you've been keeping up with this journey i'm like you can see like bags of miles i'm freaking tired i'm working my ass off at work and it's nine to five and then coming home to just put some effort into this business it's tiring bro and I'm also hitting the gym on the side as well, so I can build a physique and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, things in life show up, errands and all this kind of crap. But when you finally get that motivation to actually work on your business, you better take that with everything, bro. Go 100%. Like, get get shit done is what I'm trying to say, man. Because you don't know how long this burst of motivation is going to last, bro. It's, it's so important to take full advantage of it. So I got a fire script here. I'm going to try my best to make this a fire video. Like, I'm even thinking, like, some of the B-roll if I had the time for it and if I can find someone to help me out, like I want to see if that's, if this even fits into the video, like the flow of the video is so freaking important. So if these B roll clips would fit into this video, which I think I could make it fit is that if I get B roll of me wearing these outfits in public, um, if that would look cool or not, but then there's like one outfit that's like the casual, uh, not casual, the classy fit. Then I'm trying to, I don't really know a fire location in my area for that fit. It's, I, I feel like it's the location needs to fit the outfit too. So I don't know if that's going to cost me money to like get into like a fireplace. And I don't know. I don't know if I even have the time to do all that because I'm going to put a lot of time to editing because my editor is obviously unavailable for like three weeks. But regardless, I got some fire clips and b-roll and stuff from my traveling when I was wearing these outfits too. So I can still make it work either way. And I feel like for that sort of B-roll, I want to get like the most fire production quality. So obviously I, I only make these videos on my phone. I would prefer to have like a videographer film it. I think that would look much better and much less risk of it looking like just some cringe ass clip with me looking like a tryhard, right? So yeah, I probably won't go out and film that just because I don't have the time for it. But it doesn't really matter because the B-roll and all the stuff for this video is still going to be fire. So I'm, I'm excited for this one, man. And uh, yeah. I'm basically gonna get, call it a wrap today. I'll probably get this filmed on the weekend. Like I said, I just wanna be rested for this and look fire. And yeah, I'm excited for this one. But yeah, most of my weekends is gonna be spent editing this one. Um, or if not, if it's just, I can't freaking do it with this ancient piece of technology <laughs> that's considered my laptop. I'll send it to someone else to edit. I'll just pay them to do it. So yeah, man, um, looking forward to this one. And yeah, thank you guys for just keeping up with these videos. I know they're super freaking boring to watch. There's barely any like edits done. It's super raw, unfiltered, unedited. But um, this is, I, I don't want to like make these super entertaining for you guys and give off a false expectation of what the grind looks like. Like this is not pretty. This is not sunshine and rainbows. This is the day in, day out, nitty gritty. You're in the muds, you're in the slumps. Um, 
I try to, I, it might come off that I'm like complaining a lot in these videos when I say that I'm tired. I'm trying to just relay how I feel because I don't want you guys, if you're thinking about like actually building a business or that stuff, not to say like I'm successful yet, I will be successful. I believe in, I believe in what I'm doing and I believe in myself and I believe that this is going to work out. But I just want to say, man, like, it's not sunshine and rainbows. Like you're going to be tired most of the time. You're not going to feel like working on your business most of the time when it's not making you the money that you want to be making. Obviously you'll be motivated to work on your business when your business is actually bringing in money, right? Not to say my business hasn't brought in money, but obviously it's just like a little bit here and there. It's not where I need it to be yet, which is why I'm chasing monetization. And then the money's going to come through and boom, bro, we're going to be going at it. All the motivation in the world when it's bringing in money. But in, that, in the early days, you're not going to be motivated to do any of this. So that's why I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. Um, that's the value that I'm providing with these videos is that just showing you the reality of it. I'm not trying to pretend like, oh, this was my day. This is what I did all this, like happy stuff. And I went into, no, like this is what, this is my real day. I'm not lying about my day and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I just want to clear that up. So thank you for watching, man. Thank you for all the support. And this also helps me out with accountability. Obviously that's why I'm doing it too. And the progress, is, I'm very happy with the progress so far. Uh, not every day has been perfect, but 1% better every single day, you get 1% close to the goal, work on the business. If you're working on your business, man, just do that 1% every single day. Just put a, just move that boulder up that hill just that little bit more. And over time, if you stay consistent with that, over time, bro, you're going to be making good progress. So yeah, it's always, 1% is always better than 0%, right? So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.